This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, <laughs> check it out. Woof, man, it has been, work has been so busy. Man, still busy. All right, let's get right to it. Today, we got a 1999 Dodge Dakota Sport with the 3.9 engine. And what we're doing, another project, guys. We got projects going from here to there. You all know it if you've been uh, following our channel. On this job, we're gonna be replacing the engine, as you saw in the thumbnail. Now, here we go, check it out. The customer bought the engine. We have no idea what's going on with this old engine in here. No clue whatsoever. We even heard it run. I do know it looks like from all the pine straw on it, it looks like it's been sitting for a while. But again, we have never worked on the car, don't know anything about it at all. Only thing I know, we was hired to replace the engine. The customer got the engine. Uh, we pick, had um, the towing company we deal with, Oakley Towing, cool guys cool family business had the car towed here we got the engine in the back of the truck which I'm about to show you and uh we're gonna install it a lot of shops out there do not a lot of, and a lot of shops if you get your own parts they won't touch the car they won't they won't they have they won't have nothing to do with it um and I, and I feel that's wrong uh, from from my perspective because our policy is I, we don't care you want to get the parts that's fine the only thing the customer's got to understand is that there is no warranty whatsoever. None. Zero. <laughs> and and long, uh, and long as that, as long as uh, the customer agrees with that, we got no problem with that. So uh, enough of this talking, man. Uh, we got this car for a few days, so this is going to be our project. We've got another party line going. It's windy out here. The temperature's like 40-something degrees, 40 degrees, I don't know. My kind of weather. <laughs> All right, let's go over this truck together before we start and go in the back of the truck and show you the uh, new engine <laughs> that's going in here. Well, it's a used engine, but it's a used it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. I got the hood open. Uh, this is the this is the engine we got to pull out. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, wow. Guess. Look at this, man. This ain't good. Luckily, that wasn't over there touching that positive. Let's short this out. And what I want to do right now is I want to go, go, just go over the vehicle, look at things. I want to see if anything's out of place, broken or anything before we go ahead. And that's what's good about videotaping it. So at least we see it. Now, I'm going around this. And in case you see anything, let me know in the comment section below. So it helps better protect me. Like uh, the other well, one's probably got an oil cap, but this one's got a broken oil cap over here. Um, going around. Wow, look at that. What the heck is this? Look at the condenser. Huh. Holy cow. It looks like something pushed into the condenser. And I'm not sure yet whether it actually went into the radiator, but we are going to find out find out once we take this whole thing apart, take the fan shroud off. Let's see, can we see back there? It doesn't look like it, but we're going to see. We're going to definitely see. All right, let's go over here. And uh, again, here's the engine. Again, the customer bought the engine. Uh, LKQ, da 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 3.9, Vin X. Hey guys, you know, a question, if any of you guys, you know, let's see cool. well, I guess this is what the engine came out of. You know, one thing about these 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 yards, they don't tell you how many miles up there. But here's the VIN. Hey, any of you guys got access to a VIN check? Look at that VIN. 
Let's look at the number one right there, one Bobby. Check out that VIN. Give me an indication of what uh what you come up with. How many miles was last known on it, recorded on it. I mean, personally, I, I'm not supposed to care, really, right? Because, I mean, they got the engine and all. But, I don't know. It's just... It's just... If I know something busted about this engine, you know, I don't I don't want to put it in. I mean, even though the customer didn't have us to check out anything out, get it... You know, I just, I just, I would just feel bad. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, what did they do to this engine, man? Look at it. You guys see that throttle body? It's actually broke. Huh. This bracket is broken right here. Oh, uh, they got the whole wire. This thing looks like it had a lot of rust on it, don't it? I mean, see all that, those spots and everything? You know what? Let's uh, let's check it. Uh, motor mount bolt. I don't care. I don't care about that too much. Uh, let's see here. We go around. Wow. This thing been outside or something? It looks like it. it. Looks like there was an oil leak right over here on the oil pan gasket. Holy cow. Look at this, guys. Look at that freeze out plug. That thing is. That's rusted. That was leaking. If that freeze out plug rotted out, that means whoever had this engine was running it with mostly water or something. Shoot, I hate getting him. You know, I'm trying to do the right thing. But, you know, I'm a. You know, and the bad part about this, guys, is they don't want you really bothering the engine because if they see something touched in it, they, they're going to void his warranty. But how can we leave this like this? I mean, we, we got to get that. We got to change that thing. You know, what, what I'm going to do is try to get, get, let me get the engine hoist thing out of here because I had to use this to put it inside the truck. Uh, what I want to do here, I'm going to get this engine hoist out of here. I don't want to turn this engine, try to flip it, turn it to the side a little bit, to the front, so we can see uh, anything else about it. All right, bear back. All right, guys. You know, also let's uh, cause we get again. If you, you guys saw the VIN number, see if you can run the VIN. S let me know some information on this vehicle because of all the paperwork they got. No kind of uh, how many miles was on in engine, but that would tell us. Let's check the oil. I hope they drain the oil because that's dry. That's some, some kind of little mark right there. Hey, this thing is really difficult to go back down there. Not a drop. Um, I got the oil filter still on it. I don't have a, unless, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. It's possible they could have drained the oil. Uh, 2001 Dakota, 13.9 Venex. You know, again, that's like I said in the beginning of the vi vi video. Hey, we could throw this engine in, and if we was a shop that didn't care, throw it in, give my money. I don't care, whatever. You got the engine. But when you look at something like this, it's, it definitely kind of questions it. So uh, we definitely gonna let call the customer and let him know to contact the comp company. Let them know there's not a drop of oil in here. Did they? Did they? Um, Remove the oil or what? But this sucks. <laughs> I mean, look at it. we got rust down down here. So it looks like uh, definitely gonna be changing the thermostat and gasket. But um, 
All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got it turned around. Looks like somebody put a new water pump on it, probably because of all that rust in it. <laughs> I messed up. This is messed up. I shouldn't be laughing like this. What the? Oh my goodness! What did you drop the? Drop the engine on something? <laughs> I mean, you just dropped that engine to the side, or, or what? Happened? What the heck happened there? Broke the. Oh man, look at this, guys. We got another one leaking right there. There's two freeze out plugs that was leaking. That's rotted out. Huh. You know, and you got all this rust right here. This thing had a lot of rust in You know what? Let me see something. How about. That's a new. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can see inside this hose. Yep. Look at that. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. Rust. Oh, man. Ah, shoot. I mean, hey, the, the car, it can, it can, I mean, hey, you know, it can still run. I'm not downing it or something, but, uh, you know, come on now. If you're selling this engine, you got this thing out there, you, you took the time to mark it, right? You, I mean, not mark it nice too. Nice handwriting, you know. You couldn't, you didn't see this or did they see that and they just didn't care? And uh, I'm, 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 a matter of fact, guys, I'm gonna let, guys and girls, I'm gonna let you know, let you know one thing. Very important about dealing with uh, used car places. A lot of places. Now, Mike, I can't speak for all of them, but all the ones I've dealt with so far is, if if you buy this engine, right? Maybe, yeah, back like that. If you buy this engine and something goes wrong with it, you don't get your money back. You get credit. They're gonna get you another engine. If that one go bad, it got one's bad. They get you another one. They keep on going until they can't get you no more, and then you get credit. You don't get your, you never get your money back. So you want to uh, check check when you get it used parts. Make sure you check out their policy. Man, this is bogus, man. But I, I, I'm gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do. Let's go over here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is I never did it one of these engines before, and I'm gonna let you know my little secret of what I do. What I do is you got your engine. Anything that's connected to that engine, to the vehicle, we know it's got to be disconnected. That's what we know, right? Now, what I do is, I say, okay, um, for instance, this is, this is a poor example in a way. <laughs> you got this air cleaner. Air cleaner is coming from the side, going to there. Now, I can disconnect. I know it's got to be disconnected. So, now you figure out which is the best way. Now, this one, of course... The best way is just take it off and remove it and set it to the side. Now let's take over here. They got the vacuum line going to the booster. Two ways we can do this. We can either disconnect it from there or disconnect it from over here. That's going to be your preference. Don't let nobody tell you, um, no, you're doing it the wrong way, whatever. I can either pull the hose off right here like this, and which I'll probably do, and look at it. I'm going to take that right along with the engine. Now it's done. Then we go around here to the wiring, to this uh, the battery wiring. Now I can either go try to fish it through there and whatever or I can pop this cover off it's already off and a bunch of wiring what the heck is this now I know I can disconnect it from this look like a 10 millimeter nut then come around here <laughs> this is all loose so I can just pull that out of there like that disconnect that and I'm gonna take that away from there it's, see it, it's all how you want to do it I see this whole wiring harness right here I see this whole wiring harness is going inside here. Forget that. I'm going to go over here, and it looks like it plugs up right into there. And we're going to disconnect that. That's the best way of doing an engine. And, and I do that with all engines, everything. And now we're going down here. To the, when you go down here to the power steering pump, I look at it. And I say, you know what? It's probably going to be better for me and, and not a, get a lot of messy, messy, messy stuff and all. Take the belt off unbolt the pump and let it hang to the side same thing with the air conditioning now if the air conditioning is still charged up i'm gonna unbolt it four bolts pull it all to the side done that'll be the best matter of fact i might do that yeah i might do that that would be better see it's all it's all like that got really easy 
All right, so let's uh let's start this. I'm gonna get some gloves on, and we're gonna go ahead and do this. Now I notice on this on this engine over here, they got I see the whole wiring harness over here. As a matter of fact, is this the harness that plug we just looked at? I don't I don't know. Yeah, it does. Look at it right there. Got a ground. Now whether I can use this harness, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know and I really don't think I'm going to because uh, it might be a difference in this one so we, we might be taking this whole harness out and putting the, our harness uh, in there <laughs> all right let's get this done let's get this set up we'll be right back all right guys we're back let's do this this is uh, unplugged man <laughs> all right the next thing we do we got uh, this uh, we got a looks like a 10 millimeter over here that's a 10. And you got my 10 millimeter deep, quarter inch drive on my gun. Oh yeah, perfect. Take that wire off. And what you want to do is, when you can, put the nut or the and the or the bolt back where it belongs. So now you know where it's at. The next thing we're gonna do is, if we notice, we got this little harness right here. And it looks like it's going to this plug. Uh, looks like a looks like this like tab, this white tab here uh, is holding a harness in. You know what? Let's get a let me get a pair of get a pair of hose pliers or something. Let's see if I can. that thing up oh yeah there it is okay huh interesting all right let's go over here looks like this is held in by a little bit of clip right there. Squeeze that tab in. Let me see if I use my same hose pliers. And you can see I'm squeezing that in right there. And pick that up, hopefully. Alright, let me get a screwdriver, push that in, and get that unplugged. Be right back. Alright guys, I pushed that tab in, right there, I pushed it in hard with the screwdriver, and got it unplugged, and now, we can swing this all the way to the side. Now, already we, we're looking good. We can put all this to the side, because we know this is all going to come come out with the engine. Good. And if we want to get a wire tie and tie that to the side. The next thing we're going to do is, looks like we got a hoses here. Heater hoses. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what is this? We got a ground wire. 10 millimeter, I'm using my same, same 10 millimeter gun. Unbolt that out. Push the ground wire down. Put the screw back in there. So now that's to the side. Wait a minute, this uh, this is going like it's going to the outside of the vehicle. It doesn't look like it's going inside. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, now we can either disconnect this hose right here, which is probably very easy, just to disconnect it here and lean that hose to the side. And the top one, though, it looks like it's going to the back of the engine. Matter of fact, we can look. We can look on this engine. And see where that other hose is. I mean, it's got to be going to this somewhere, right? I don't know. What about that? A little bit, man. Tell me 
to worry about that. Let's go back over here. So let's get us a pair of needle nose or something and get that, uh, matter of fact, what I got needle nose right here. And get this clamp. Squeeze that clamp together. Get that clamp off. All right. Get our hose pliers. to break the seal around that hose. Can you hardly see that? Okay, see how I turn that hose a little bit? Okay. So now I know that's ready to come out of here. Now I'm gonna slowly pull this off because I wanna see. Yeah, there's some orange antifreeze in there. All right, that's cool. All right, we got that off, we got that off. The next thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna get our fan off. So we gotta get a fan clutch tool and we gotta pop Big nut right there. We gotta pop that loose and get that fan out of there, and then we're gonna take our shroud out. And we got our upper radio hose. But what I'm gonna do also is get us a drain pan so we can start draining the antifreeze that's in here. Because it looks like obviously there is some in here. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, let's get this antifreeze drained out of here. I got my drain pan up under there, and if you can look right down there, you can actually see my drain. Plug. Let's get up under there and see so you can see it better. Okay, there we are, right there. That little knob right there, that little thing right there. Here's the hose. So, what we're gonna do is take our needle nose pliers and then we're gonna grab that and twist it counterclockwise. If I ever get to it. There we go. Wow. I know there's something in here. What the heck? It's coming out of here. There it is. Oh man, that thing was... Okay, we got more. That's supposed to come out a lot more than that. I know this thing got more antifreeze than that in it. Uh, upper radiator hose. Alright, we're back on top. You know, let's see if I've got a pull. Oh, there we go. That's got some air into the system. It's kind of rusty. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let that drain for a while. Take off our cap. Get some more air going down in there. Looks like there was some sealer or something in there. Alright, we're gonna let that drain, and then when we let that drain, I'm, let me see, do I wanna take off the hose from here and leave it with the engine? But then that might be too much in the way. So I think what we might do here is actually reach down there. There's our clamp down there. Huh, but to get to that clamp, we gotta take off this little bar. You know, maybe not. Go my long needle nose pliers. Let's see if we can get down in there and do that up. Okay, huh. A little bit more. Now you might want to get uh, move that bracket out of the way. It'd probably be a lot better, but you know, I'm lazy. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to get that thing out of it. Yeah, here we go. I should be off of that thing now. Yeah. Now, getting down there and loosening up that hose is going to be something. Oh, okay. I guess not. <laughs> Do 
twist that hose. Okay, woof, man, look at that, look at that, guys. It's probably the same thing wrong with that other engine. All right, now what we're gonna do is take, what the heck is this? Oh, look at this. Whatever they had hooked up here with grounding, grounding out, and, or whatever, I don't know. Let's get this heat shield, whatever this shield is, where it's from, let's get this out of here. Put that to the side. And then our battery hold down over here. And I'm gonna take this hose and I'm gonna stick this hose over there. And just stick it out and get it out of the way. And we're looking good. All right, let's get out there so we can disconnect this fan. Bear back. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna do is get you a 1 and 7 16 inch wrench. Make sure it's nice and thick. And what we're gonna do is hook it onto uh, the fan clutch right there. I'm gonna bring this back up a little bit, and this is what you're gonna use. A, uh, now you can, you can. Now look, check this out. I do have the tool to do this. What is that? Is that size? Huh? This is one and seven eighths. But and then it holds one side and looks up the other, whatever. But as you can see, my wrench right here, I got little beat marks. Cause what I like to use is called shock and oil. Have it right there. Get me a hammer. And then you be good at this. You shock that and knock that loose. Yeah, you ain't you're not gonna you definitely not gonna be able to do this on the first try, but <laughs> you keep on going at this. Going until until you get that loose. Yeah. Yeah, that turned pretty much. Look at that. Look at that. It's loose. Take my wrench off. Now I can spin my fan clutch. Get, get the wheel. Spin it right off. And what I'm gonna do is spin it off and just let it, let it rest down into the shroud because we're gonna take the fan and the shroud up at the same time. This is coming out cool, man. I, love, I don't know why, I don't know what, what it is about me that I love doing engine jobs, head gaskets. I don't like transmissions at all. <laughs> so we're gonna spin this off and let it rest down in there. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I got it off, hanging down there. You know, when can I get this thing out of here right now? Bummy thing. I mean, I guess if I can still jiggle this around enough, I can get this thing out of here. I ain't trying to tell you. Let that hang, hang down there. Let's get this fan shot out of here and do everything at the same time. What we got here? We got a cup of what? Fountain drinks. I don't know. We ain't gonna need that. Uh, all right. And it looks like we got we got a 10 millimeter bowl here, and we got one way down there. So that means. We're gonna have two more on this side. One and two. All right, let's, I'm gonna get my air ratchet hooked up so we can start busting this thing out. Bear back. All right, guys, let's get right to it. I got my quarter inch drive deep, 10 millimeter socket with my quarter inch drive air ratchet. I'm gonna get in here. Let's see if I can. Let's get that done down here. Okay. Get this thing away. Messing me up. That right there. Let's see. Make sure we can reach these two. Oh yeah, we can use these two with the same thing. Don't even have to use no extension. Something. Now this line right here. See, I was in my way a little bit. Now I can. You can bend that a little bit. Not a lot, but bend it a little bit. Get it out of the way. Matter of fact, let's get this out of our this overflow hose out of our way. Tuck that around to the side. And we can let's go down here. Get our two. 
Let's see, make sure we can reach our other one down there. This little quarter inch drive ratchet, air ratchet, is so cool, guys. You know, especially when, when, when you want one hand, it ain't that cool. Any day now. Get those four out, and then we're gonna take the fan and the shroud out as an assembly. Bear right back. All right, we got our four bolts right there, and now what we're gonna do is let me set my camera up right here. All right, we're gonna grab, reach down here, and grab our fan, take up the whole assembly all at once. Now what we're going to do is take the four bolts that we took out, we're going to put them back in there by hand so we know we don't lose those and be right there. All right? We're looking good. We'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, we are looking good. I hope you're following along. This is looking good. This belt sucks. All right, we got our bolts back in there to hold in our shroud. What's this? A broken Craftsman screwdriver. That's, that's the customers. I'll put it back in, back in the car over here. All right, the next thing we do, let's get our belt off. What you want to do is grab your 15 millimeter wrench, uh, ratchet, wrench. I'm using a, a, rat, a 15 millimeter socket with my 3H drive ratchet. And what you're going to be doing is like you're tightening up that bolt. Because as you tighten up that bolt, you're going to bring this tensioner in. Now as I tighten it, you see that? And see how the belt gets loose? So what you want to do here is as you loosen it, take the belt off. Just had it off. All right, and then release the tension on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know, let, me, let me just get my hand. Do this like it's supposed to be. Use both my hands. Okay, let's see here. Let me put this back on. All right, we'll take it off and then I'm gonna take it off this pulley over here. Release it, take our belt off. There we go. Put it to the side. The next thing we're going to do, uh, it looks like we got a power steering cooler here. The power steering pump. So instead of like disconnecting the lines, it got fluid. Look at that, that antifreeze is mud. All right, anyway. <laughs> That's uh. It looks like we can unbolt this and take the whole power steering pump and everything and just lead it all to the side so we don't have to worry about that. So let's see, oh, to get that, this pipe is in the way. You know what? What is this, silicone or something? Huh. All right, let's get this out of the way. What we got here? Okay, I'm using a 14 millimeter deep. You can use a ratchet. Whatever uh, suits you, 3H drive, uh, get your air to What I'm using is my air gun, my half inch drive air gun. Buzz that off. It's a long bolt. And what I'm gonna do is try to twist this. That's a broken. Let's get a screwdriver in here. Try to twist this. That is not twisting. 
Okay. Let me get a pair. Get my needle nose in here. See if I can work this pipe loose. That pipe is not moving, man. That sucks. Oh, man. It's funny, too, because the other one, this engine, I mean, they changed the pump. It looks like, yeah, look at that. Unless, somebody, unless that's busted. It ain't supposed to be like that. <laughs> All right. Let's try something here. Let's get us a... a Get us something better to grab this. Maybe. I don't know, man. If I can, if I can just skip by there, I can. I can always use a wrench, or I can do what I can do here. Bend the pipe out the way a little bit, and bend it back in the way. Actually, wait a there it is. It loosened. <laughs> Bended it. Loosened it up. All right. Let's get our. Right scripts now. There we go. Right, let me put that pipe up, uh, pail over there. Let's set this up. Let's pull this out. There we go. Go over in there. All right. Good. Great. We got that. Next thing I'm gonna do is. Next thing we do is make sure you can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, I got a one here, 14 millimeter nut. It's got our ground wires and all. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna lean it over there just for now. Then I got a 14 down here. Put that in a little bit. Up here. That's the one with the stud. We got two over here. Now, as I take off this bottom one down here, I want to make sure, see if that thing starts loose. I don't want it to drop on me. And that's exactly what it's going to do. Drop on me. So I'm going to put this one in by a couple more threads. Take that one out. There we go. All right, so you're going to have one, two, three, and that's a stud. We got our nut to go up there. Let's set this to the side for now. And what we're going to do here is check the length of these bolts. Same size. And we got two short ones over here, and we got a stud up there. But we're going to put those back in a minute. So what we do here is actually before we take that out, to the side before we take that out if we drop down see a bolt holding on that oil cooler right there let's see if that's a 14 also yes it is let's get our air gun Let's buzz that off. It looks like it's still holding on. So is there another bolt holding on? Yes it is. It's a nut straight down into there. All right, no problem. Let's see if you can see that. If we drop down, you see the nut down into there? Get in there, and of course not, not with the half inch, it's too tight, so we get a 3 8 bear back. Alright guys, what I'm going to use is my 14 millimeter shallow, uh, 3 8 drive, my 12 inch 3 8 drive extension, and my regular ratchet, and I'm going to get in there, okay, and let's uh, loosen that up. using two hands on this. You know the thing about 
things I go through to make sure you guys get a good angle. thing on where the heck is it three bolts holding this thing on right there all right let's buzz that one out the way loosen up that one very back all right got that bottom one out Actually, guys, we didn't have to take off the top one. Let's go down here and show you. We didn't have to take off the top one up there. That's all we had to do was take off the bottom one and the bolt right there. You know, that's going down to the starter, isn't it? And we gotta take that starter out. So what I might do here Good idea to take this off now. Oh, that goes down to the lines. Great. That's good. That's cool. Get that right out of the way. Pop it off those lines. Get out. Lean that harness down to the side. Now we'll put both our nuts back in there and put our bolt back in there. And then our power steering pump should be able to come right off. Be right back. All right. Got them right back in. The last thing we got is this stud right here. Bring up our power steering pump. Let's find out if that's the only thing that's holding it up. Damn, look at that. Drop that right out to the side. And I'll put our bolt back in there. And what we're gonna do is grab our other bolts. Here, and the short one goes here, and then we got two long ones going out the side. And this is great because look at that, our motor mount is right there. You can buzz that motor mount out right there with no problems at all. All right, we are looking good, everything is walking around going around next thing we got is our lower radiator hose that's going here so we're gonna slide our pan over get our needle nose squeeze that clamp together bring that clamp back check it out it's a little trick get you a flat screwdriver sometimes it gets stuck in there Get a flat screwdriver, stick the screwdriver between there, and you're gonna break the seal around it. Be careful not to, you know, stick the hose. <laughs> you're just gonna go around it. So that makes that hose a lot easier to come off. And this one looks like it's been up there for a bit. There we go. All right, see that? Now the hose is ready to pop right off. So what we do is slide that thing over there, slide our pan over, take our hose. Look at that, man, that's it. Oof. All right, and what we're gonna do is take the hose, we're gonna tie it up to the side somewhere to get that out of the way because we're gonna leave that right in there. This is looking good, this is looking really good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're looking good. The next thing we're going to do is get this out of here. Let's get this thing out of here. Get this out of here, throw this in the garbage somewhere when we get a chance. Yeah, 
I'll get that in a minute. All right, next thing we do, let's get our air cleaner assembly out of the way because next what we're going to do is we're going to take our AC compressor with the lines. We're going to unbolt it and swing the whole thing and lay it over here to the side. But this is in our way, so I need this out of the way. All right, so let's take this off right here. Okay, that's ready to come up. Uh, we got a clip right here. It looks like it's missing the other two. Oh, wait a minute, that's a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And just in case there's bolts inside, let's find out. Oh, it jump out at me. Oh, there's another clip over here. Okay, we got all the holes connected right here. Let's see if we can find out where that hose look. We might want to take that hose and take it with the air cleaner. It looks like it goes to the breather. And I don't want to take a chance and mess that up. So let's just disconnect it from right over here. Give us a wheel or something. side Ugh, man that look like a pain back there to get to <laughs> all right now let's find out if it's just this one 10 millimeter nut that's holding this on or is it something else okay it looks like it's just held on by gr grommet down in there can you take that up let's look like it's turning Let's get that 10 millimeter bolt off, nut off over there and see what we got. Bear back. All right, I'm gonna use my cordless gun, my 10 millimeter quarter inch drive. Buzz that off. I'm trying to see if this thing in screws right here. It seems like. Something, dang it, there's another one right up under there. What are you talking about? What is this? Well, let's get our wire cutters right here. And, uh, pop this little grommet out, this little thing out of here, just like that. Okay, there we go. Let's get our air clean off. Man, it's got a lot of things right here. All right, let's set this down to the side. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got that put to the side. You know what? I, I don't think I went through the party line with you and this guy. You got, what the heck is he talking about? Check this out. Let's go over here. Every time we take off a part on a car, especially when we're doing a big job, you want to put it in a line. Like the first thing we took off was that, then the air cleaner, then the air box. Then you put them in a line. So what you do is when you go put things back together, you start at the other end of the line and work your way back. This way you don't get a lot of confusion, a lot of extra parts, you don't know where they go. And in a good case, if the car is gonna be down for a while, just like this Liberty, we're rebuilding the engine in, it's been about a month or two. So I got those parts in a party line, so I know exactly where it's gonna go when I go to put this back together. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our AC compressor and swing it. You know what? Check this out guys, what am I going to do here? Because I noticed from the other engine, we're going to take the whole harness and get this harness out of the way because we want this whole harness to come with us when we uh, take this out. Okay. So we got, uh, we got a plug right here. First we got this little red little locking tab. You want to push that tab till it pops back. 
Dang it. Let's see, watch, let's see if I get to do one hand. Pop that tab right back. Squeeze that tab right there. And unplug it. And I guess we might have to take the tab out. I don't know. I know y'all saying, Tim, put the thing down and just do it. Just, just put it down and unplug it. There we go. All right, the next thing, these are, this, this got broken tabs here. See how that one is? This is, this is a good reason why we record things. It's supposed to be a locking tab on both sides. You squeeze them together just like this, and then you go to unplug it. Let me see. Wow, look at that. I felt the bottom one, I heard the bottom one click, and there is the bottom one right there. And that thing was not even in there. Man, that one too, huh? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that to the side. Oh, I didn't have to disconnect that one. That one can stay there. This one comes around, unhooks right there. Got our uh, AC pressure switch. Push that tab in right there. Let's get a good look at this. Push that tab down, unplug it. That's gonna come with the harness. Come around, looks like we got a 13 millimeter right here for these ground wires. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna get my 13 millimeter, hook it onto my, my gun here. off put the nut back on it all right then we're gonna swing this whole harness over Wait a minute, it's going right there too let's get our needle nose where's our needle nose where's our needle nose here we go right here all right that little little thing little arrow right there squeeze those in and push that right out of there. Well, you gotta do better with two. You gonna, you gonna have a better one with two hands. All right. Swing that all the way to the engine. That's gonna come out with our engine. That's great. We're looking good. Now, next we got this. Uh, there's that other hose right there. There's that other hose going all the way around. You know, let's pull it off here. Oh, that's supposed to be on the stud. Right? That thing's supposed to come right off of there. It'll come off in a minute. And then we're going to come around. Let's get this out of the way. We got this. What is this? One of the bolts is missing on this or something? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take that 10 millimeter off. We're going to leave this onto the engine. Let's get our needle nose and take off that hose. Right. Take off that clamp right there. This clamp, this lens is dirty. Let me clean up this lens. Alright, everybody. Had cleaned off the lens. Hope it wasn't messed up before this. <laughs> Alright. Uh, before we get back over there, we, but we're over here. Let's get our needle nose pliers because what we're going to do is disconnect this hose from back here. Let's go and clamp together. Back there. Back the clamp off. All right. And then we're going to get our hose pliers to break the seal off that. And what you want to do is be very careful when you use the hose pliers because you want to make sure you don't pinch that hose. You want to grab it carefully. And that's all we want to do is just twist it until it breaks the seal. Just twist it carefully back and forth. There we go. You can see how it turns easy. And we know we're good to go. So we're going to do reach our hand back here. Pull it right off. Look at that. 
And that's gonna stay with the engine. All right. Oops, what's this? Dang it. I'm gonna have to put a little, remind me to put a little holes between there to connect that. All right, let's go over here. Next thing we're gonna do is let's disconnect our fuel line over here. I almost forgot about that. It's over here. Pop the this little clip will pop right off. It's supposed to get a little screwdriver. Pop that off. From the back. Okay. And then we're gonna to have to take this off. Now there's like a there's like a clip in here that's got like a bunch of little fingers that open up like this. So what you gotta do, and, they, and the, the, the clips, the springs close down and lock onto the line. So what you gotta do is have a tool, and you get the little cheap tool set for like eight bucks for the whole set. And that line looks like about a, maybe a 5 16th. So I got my little tools here. And sometimes the, the cheaper tools work better. And what you do is put the tool like that, and then you got the little plastic one. You push the tool in, and it'll open up that clamp, and then you take your other hand and pull that off. Let's see if I can get this set up so we can get a good look at, get a look at this. I'll do here is unplug the sensor out of body so you can get a good look at that and see that and push that in and of course it's not gonna there you go you gotta make sure that thing is in and push it right out all right that's that Oh man, this gas smells stale. That's not a good sign. You know what? Let's get this line out of the way because right now you see how it's over on that breather. So we want to make sure this thing is completely out of our way. That gas smells kind of stale. <laughs> All right, the next thing we're going to do is go into the other side of the engine. And we're ready to continue off, continue where we were before. And what we're going to do is now is disconnect the cable to the kick down. Let's back this up. All right. We got the kick down cable, which you just push this cable forward. Unhook it. But then we're going to have to unhook it from here. And there's a tab on the top and a tab on the bottom. See that tab right there? That's got to be pushed down, then there's one underneath that's got to be pushed up. And this is a good idea to have your uh, needle nose to um, take that off. But before we do that, now we got two more cables. One for the accelerator, one for the accelerator, and one for the um, uh, cruise control. So what you want to do, this one, just, you can just, come on, hold this again. Just pull that and pop that right off, just like that. And then the other one, you gotta hold the throttle open, and then if you look right there, you gotta push that forward to get that off right there. And that's done. Then on the other side, let's just get our little skinny screwdriver here. These things are little tabs that holds these in place. You see right there? And what you want to do is push that little tab out, just like that, and then the whole thing is going to slide off. If I can get this thing to slide, oh, slide up, I'm sorry. <laughs> slide up like that. That's one. The next one is the same way as the kick down. If you look right there, you'll see two tabs, the upper one and the lower one, and they got to be squeezed in and then popped out. So let's get our needle nose, and I'm going to show you over here. Let's do, do this one together. 
take my needle nose, squeeze the, the top and the bottom, and then with your other hand, you're going to back that out. Comes out. This thing hooked back up there? It sure did. Right out, let's lean that to the side. The accelerator cable, we're gonna push that up to the side. You're gonna take your same needle nose pliers and you're gonna do the same thing to the kick down. One to the top, one to the bottom, squeeze them in and back it out. I'm at a bad angle here, so I'm gonna have to uh, put you down and then use both my hands. Bear back. All right, there we go, got that out. Here's our power. Here's our uh, cruise control. Lean that to the side. Put our tool back up. Okay, accelerator cable. Here it goes over here. Lean that to the side with all this bunch of wires at. Have no idea. Here's our main harness. Let's get that out of the way. We got another AC switch right here that we're going to have to disconnect. Push that little tab in right there. Unplug it, and now let's, we're going to unbolt this compressor and push it to the side. Bear back. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, let's see. We're going to get this off. We got these lines right there. You know what? Wait a minute. You know what, guys? We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to get these motor mounts. And I noticed. I noticed over here. The motor mounts. That's all they did. They just loosen them up, so they must just come out of a slot. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I just looked at it. That's a nut and a bolt. There's a bolt facing us. That's an 18 millimeter, and the nut on the side is a 21 millimeter. So what I'm gonna do is I got my 21 millimeter and 13 16 is the same thing. 13 16 is just a tad bit smaller, but it should reach back there. You know what? It'd be better. Uh, let me get a mag. Let me get a uh, a mirror so you can see this. All right. Bear back. All right. I got the wrench back there, and you can see it right in the mirror. That holes in the way. Try to turn it more that way, right there. And I got my light down there. What I'm gonna do is let me cut my light on. There we go. And look inside the mirror, and you can see where I got the wrench on. Right there. Okay. Cut our light off, but we're not gonna need it now. Get my 18 millimeter deep with my half inch drive gun, and I'm gonna go down here. And I gotta move the power steering pump out of the way a little bit. Yeah, I did loosen it up, but what I'm gonna do is put that on again. I'm gonna put the camera down. And then I'm going to use one hand to hold the wrench, and I'm going to loosen it up as much as I possibly can. Alright, let's loosen, get that side loosened up, then we're going to go to the other side. Bear right back. Alright, we got that side loosened up. The next side, man, this is going to be tricky because this thing is like way down in here. So, we're going to have to... Away. One hand right here, and if I can get it onto the stud, which I got it, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is take my gun. And I'm gonna start hitting the hitting the other side, spinning it, and this my hand, the other hand is gonna hold the wrench, and hopefully I can get it to grab onto that nut and just loosen up. So let's uh, 
Let's see if we can do that. Let's get an angle right about here. All right. Okay, I got my hand over here. Let's see if I can get it to loosen. So far, no. We <laughs> are no go on this. I mean, I can get this from underneath. I mean, I get up under it anyway, but it'd be really nice to get this from here. Where did that boot go? There it is. Oh, I am loosening it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get that all the way loose and I'll be right back. Alright, I got that loose. We are looking great. The next thing we're going to do is take our AC with the lines and all and we're going to lean that all the way to the side. Now, what we got here, a little bracket here holding these lines into place. And that's like a quarter inch bolt right there. So I got my quarter inch, quarter inch drive, shallow socket. Buzz that off. Oh, okay, so open up like that. Okay, that's cool. Go on like that. And then I'm gonna put my the screw right back in there. So I know where that's at. Move our wiring harness out to the side. And next thing what I'm gonna do is get me a 13 millimeter deep socket, half inch drive with my half inch drive gun. Now on the compressor, to take the compressor off, we got one, two, three, four bolts holding it in. But we got this bracket right here that's also bolted to the back of this. So we need to get this bolt back here out. Okay, then we get our four bolts. One, two, three. Now number four is like right there on the line. Like in the way, again, just like the same thing. You can move the line out the way just a little bit, you know, to get your socket down in there. All four bolts are out. Hey, good thing we looked at this. Look at this, guys. That's supposed to be able to turn freely. And it's not. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be funny if this thing if the engine was locked up because the compressor, because look at that, I can't turn it. So every time they hit it, the engine wouldn't turn. And, and that has happened. I saw that happen with a, a seized up alternator that the people, they, they changed the starter and everything, but every time they hit it, it locked up. The engine was locked. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be something else? Wow. And then, you know, a lot of mechanics, a lot, a lot of mechanics, you know, in the shop and or out the shop ain't that bright. So they don't consider taking a a breaker bar, putting it on the front of the engine, trying to turn it. That's locked up. <sighs> Interesting. All right, let's take these bolts out. Take our bracket off. Take our two bolts out. And what you're going to do is take the whole assembly. Whoops. Don't do that. Let me put this to the side. Got a little plug up over here we gotta unplug. 
And we got a little tab right on the top to squeeze that tab in. Unplug that. Take our whole unit and lean it over to the side. You want to keep it out of the way. You don't try to bend the metal lines. Just keep, just put it somewhere where you can, uh, we got this coil wire right here. Let's get this coil wire off of there. And what I'm going to do here is get some wire or something. And I'm going to tie this over to the side to make sure it stays there. Right now I got it propped up in that line, but I'm going to leave it like that. Because we definitely get a little, little space right there. But I, I'm really wondering, guys. Dang it. All right, we are looking good. Um, so pretty much everything on the top, the motor mounts, everything from outside, all this is over to going to come out with the engine and all, except this hose. We got this. Loosen up. Remember that came from over there. Our gas line goes over there. We're going. To, we're going to need to go up underneath. Take off the bell housing bolts, the starter, the exhaust, and this engine's coming out of here. That is cool. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We got this done. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to jack this car up, truck up, pickup truck, SUV. No, the, the pickup Coda. truck. Dakota. I don't think they gave it the heck of Dakota. They don't even know that. <laughs> We're gonna jack it up, get it up on jack stands, and uh, wow, the AC thing. You know, for, for argument's sake, guys, let's uh, check this oil. Huh. Dang, that's really cruddy right there. Okay, we're gonna, that's really cruddy. Let's check this. Let's check this out. So, Nothing on the stick. It is not reading on the stick at all. Okay, so yeah, the engine is shot. You know, this is funny, guys. What kind of car we do? It just did an engine on film. Mercury Sebring. Sebring. We just did a Sebring engine on this. Check out the video. This is the same customer, and the reason why the Sebring engine went is because of uh, the it was very low in oil. It was caked up, very messed up. Check that video out. Here we are, his vehicle, the second vehicle doing the same thing. And it's gonna need that AC compressor. All right, jack this up, put it on stands. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're not gonna jack it up and put it on stands. We're gonna end part one right here. So that, that was the end of that and stay tuned for part two when we continue removing this engine. So if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post them below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstralAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astral Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.